Have you ever wondered how to make cells change colors based on what day it is? We'll find out how to format spreadsheet cells based on a date in this video. I've had this question come up a lot. How do I make a cell change colors to say red or green based on the date? Well, Fortunately, it's pretty easy with Google Sheets. I've got an example sheet open here with a list of days and tasks for each day. Right now they're all gray. We want to have the date show as red for past dates, green for the current date, and gray for future dates. This is a relatively simple example, but you'll be able to do a lot more with it once you see how it's done. We'll highlight the row containing dates. Then click on Format and Conditional Formatting. This opens up a panel on the right side of the screen. It immediately applies a default formatting to the row. The default format changes the cell to green if it's not empty. We'll change this and set up the past date formatting first by clicking on the drop down for Format Cells If. From the list, we'll select Date is Before. Another drop down link appears below the first one. By default, it has Today selected. You could also select any of the other options from the list but we want today for this example. This will format the cell if it contains a date that is before or older than today. Next, we need to set up the format we want it to apply. We'll change the green default color to red. Let's also change the text color to dark red. Now, we'll click on the Add Another Rule link at the bottom. This next rule will format the cell if the date is equal to today. We'll change the first option to date is and leave the second one as today. Change this format to green highlight and green text. And now we have the past dates in red and the current dates in green and everything else is in gray. That's really all there is to this. You can do a lot more with it if you take some time to explore the other options. If you found this video to be helpful, please click on the like button, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel to keep learning. I try to get a couple new videos up each week. I'll see you in another video.